I've been alone. What is good? We're gonna start off this video by cutting off the frame here, right here. Let's do this. That was freaking loud. I'm gonna give me some sick headphones. I didn't find any fly headphones. I got these Beats by Dre earbuds, so I'm gonna use these instead. I hear these have some pretty good bass. Let's do some test calculations. All right, so I'm going to end the episode there. Wait, actually, no, f that. So what you were just watching was me trying to get the stator out. Last night, I was taking all the bolts out of the engine to get the casing off, ran out of time. So that's where we are today. I really thought this was gonna be a little bit easier to get this damaged stator out of here. But man, it's turned out to be quite the task. But we're gonna finish it today. I brought my hammer with me. I'm gonna put the hammer down. Let's do this. So yesterday I was kind of struggling with it. I was trying to figure it out myself, but today I watched a video about it, got some new knowledge. And then now we're back at it today. Let's get this casing off and get the stator changed. All right, so I'm gonna begin by removing this tube here. I just held on my two O-rings. There should be two. Is there one stuck in there? Oh no, it's only supposed to be one O-ring. And then with the shift gear right here, basically as you're pulling it off, you have to make sure you're pushing it in because there's a spring attached to it. And if you stretch that spring or break the string, you're gonna have to replace it. So just be careful with that. That out of the way, you should be able to, yeah, just pull it right off and something fell out. So here's inside the rear cover here. All right guys, so that's actually where I'm gonna end the episode. Actually, nah, f that. We are here doing good business. Today we're here to get this stator replaced. Get a new gasket up in here. All right, let's get right down to it. My neighbors, it's a new day. Um, I'm assuming you just take stuff off and put it back on. Where'd that mallet at? Oh, we have it. All right, so this is the first time I've ever even been inside an engine. I'm hoping this goes according to plan. Really, it shouldn't be that difficult, and most people say it's super easy. So that's what I'm hoping, at least. Okay, so all these bolts are the same, so it doesn't matter the order that they are put back in. Here's the second one. The neutral wire underneath this case is still needing to be loosened in order to come out. Look at that. Look at that, people. Now all I need to do is get the neutral wire disconnected and we can take this whole thing out. It is a seven millimeter bolt. All right, there's the little shield. Okay, so pulling the boot back off of the neutral indicator wire reveals a little tiny little guy right there. Push that crap through there. Then it should be all on the table like magic. Boom. All right, so that's the old stator right there. That's the empty case right there. Okay, so how do you actually swap this is the question. That's gonna be a tough question to answer, I think. Well, looks like I need some more knowledge. Glad I have some technology. All right, well, I'm quickly learning this is not an easy task. But next episode, we're gonna get that inside the bike. So I'm actually gonna end the episode there. But isn't this pretty nice? This little, nice little engine here. Looks like we got a good amount of chain adjustment left. Um, so I don't think I'll touch that yet. Overall, the inside of this engine looks very good. Very good. All right guys, I'll see you next episode. Smash those buttons.